Morning and welcome, welcome, hello uh, to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Thursday. Hope you're doing okay. Hope your Thursday's going well. And we are ready for a brilliant day. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the uh, the festive spirit. 
You'll be seeing nothing but Christmas jumpers from me over the course of the next few weeks. I, I counted them up um, over last week. I've got 17 of them. Um, so yeah, we've got, got lots to show you as far as Christmas jumpers are concerned, but we've got lots to show you on this show as far as your adhesives and glues are concerned because... Glue School is open. Uh, we have got a masterclass for you all about your adhesives. We have got um, adhesives galore. Whatever you need, we've got it. We've got some brilliant bundles. Uh, we've got some brilliant deals as well. And also with these masterclasses, you know what, if you're a little bit stuck, let's <laughs> see what I did there because it's glue. If you're a little bit stuck as to which adhesive works with what, it will all be covered over the course of this show because we have a fantastic, fantastic teacher. One of my absolute faves. He didn't get the memo about the Christmas jumper though. It's Craig! I did, yes, yeah. Teacher-wise, glue school, it's not Leanne, it is me. I am in, in purple. I will be from next week, don't you worry. Yes. I will be all Christmas jumpered out. I am just wearing purple this week, supporting Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week. So we're wearing purple and we're uh, purple for Crafter's Companion. What better? But yeah, what a great couple of hours we have got planned, that is for sure. So many of sometimes have a bit of difficulty. You're unsure what glue is best to go for, what product, what adhesive. We've got sprays and that will be going over in cartload as well. So we're taking it over throughout today. But this next couple of hours is all about, you know, your glue gel, your tacky glue, your all-purpose glue, foam pads, all these different things. We're going to step you through what's best for what project and uh, we'll do a few demonstrations just to show you how you can actually use them. Oh yeah, absolutely we will. And uh, do you know what, if you are one of those people who gets a little bit stuck, uh, then you know, I I'm with you sometimes, I get a little bit confused. What glue goes with what? All will be explained during this show. Also, just to say, very exciting, uh, we are in our uh, Triple Points event with Club Inspire. This runs until the end of Sunday, so basically, your opportunity to get shopping, get those points up, and maybe get yourself into the next band, become a silver um, Club Inspire member, gold, or even platinum. And of course, uh, the more points you can achieve then, you know, the more um, discounts you're going to receive as we head through this year and into next year as well. So it's a great time to shop. You don't have to do anything different uh, you just shop with us and you'll get triple points on everything and if you get up towards platinum that will get you up to 20% uh, off all of your shops so definitely worth getting involved and this really is one of those shows isn't it where you know you're never not going to want adhesives you're never not going to want glue so now is the perfect time to stock up on all of these because you're going to get triple points the other thing to say as well is um we are uh, giving you the opportunity to get your hands on a uh, free christmas stocking decoration during the event if you spend over 40 pounds or 40 dollars uh, this amazing uh, christmas stocking decoration will be popped into your order uh, free of charge as well just to say also um if you uh, do happen to want more than one of these maybe you do spend over 40 pounds or 40 dollars uh, get another one as well because all the profits from these decorations will be going to the bradley lowry foundation uh, as well so many of you and we'll say thank you so many of you have already ordered uh, this decoration and of course that money is going to go to the bradley lowry foundation but if uh, we can get more of you to buy more than one buy a couple buy a few. maybe you've got a massive tree and you need to get some decorations on there this would be absolutely uh, perfect $5.99 or $8.99 or any two for 10 or 15. But remember, if you spend over £40 or $40, we will pop one for free into your order. Right, uh, let us get started with all of the goodies that we've got on the show. As always, you can get in touch. We encourage questions on Masterclass because, you know what, we want to make sure that you're fully understanding of everything and particularly with all these glues and adhesives. Anything that you want to ask us, get those questions in and we'll get them answered during the course of the show. This, I think, is going to be um, hugely beneficial, this particular bundle, because it's kind of like got a, a, a little bit of everything. Everything that you'll need as far as the adhesives are concerned it is your um, Essential Starter 8-piece collection. £36 or $61, you're saving uh, $16.42 or $28.60 on this, and it literally is a little bit of everything that you need. You've got a three-piece set of your low-tack tape. You've also got in here... Um, a selection of foam pads. You've got your glue tape pen, your dotty tape pen as well. And again, if you're thinking, what do I use where? How does this all? Don't worry, all will be explained. You've got your red liner tape included as well. Brilliant, as we know, for your construction. We've got your 3D glue and we've got your, uh, your universal glue as well. Pretty much, I think, a comprehensive, we call it a starter bundle, Craig, but I think really this is a comprehensive adhesive bundle for anyone, isn't it? 
course it is. When I started crafting, I wish there was a bundle like this out there so that I could just buy and know you've got all your bases covered. However, if you're more ex uh, experienced crafter, this is another one then to stock up. This is going to be perfect this next two hours for kind of stocking up. So if we go for a beginner, great selection to have, but then stocking up. So think about your guests, maybe friends and family that also do crafting. What better as well, because it is the triple points as well, better way to uh, stock up as well as get your points. Absolutely, couldn't have said it better myself. So that is a great way to go. Split it up if you want to do it that way, uh, but certainly you will not be short of uh, glue for all of your projects. See, that's the worst, isn't it? If you get halfway through a, a project and then you know, you, you've know run out of the adhesive that you need, make sure you're stocked up. Now, um, one thing I will say, as always here at Crafters TV, you like to grab a bargain and you like to shop ahead uh, before we get to these shows as well. And that has certainly happened over the course of this show. Uh, the double-sided shaker foam. Now you're going to get 12 rolls of um, different sizes here, but for 9.99, that I think is an absolute bargain. So it's 9.99 or 9.99, and it is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means it soon won't be seen. Yes, this is going to go. What a team! What a team! Um, you're going to get how much on each roll? Five meters on each roll, 12 rolls, that's 60 meters. That's good maths, that is. Um, useful to have this in your uh, your crafting life, Craig, isn't it? Your shaker, your shaker foam. Absolutely, straight away, you like your shaker cards. This is exactly what you need. But of course, you don't just have to use them for your shaker cards. No. If you want to add a little bit of height and dimension, then you can use that as well. Again, we will go over the foam pads later on. Um, so, also on the show, get that whilst it's here because that probably will sell out before the end of the show. Something that we've got back in stock that I've not seen before here on the channel, which I know uh, you're going to be hugely excited about, is your uh, Ink Dauber um, kit 40 piece collection here. Back in stock, the deal on this again, amazing. £21 or $28, saving 15%. Um, so, again, you, you are going to get the little storage there, and then you've got all of um, those little ink daubers as well to save you getting in a bit of a mess, to save those uh, fingertips getting all mucky. And you've got one uh, for each particular colour there as well. So, super, super handy to have. First time I've seen these uh, here at um, Crafters TV, and they are back in stock. Um, something you love, Craig? These are perfect, especially for your opaque pigment ink pads. So when you really want to lay that colour down, you want to get that seamless blend, these are the ones to use. So if you maybe have a bit of trouble with your opaque pigment ones, get these ones. Trust me, these are absolutely going to do the job. And you've got a really cool little storage case in there as well. So 40 of your finger dormers and your storage case as well. £21 or $28 um, if you would like to put those into your basket. Um, lots of videos because we've already got people coming in saying, oh, I want to try a particular glue. I want to, just want to try this glue or that glue or the other glue. Well, you can do that as well because we've got some great deals on the individual. So let's show you some pictures. Uh, now, uh, we've got your uh, Colal all-purpose glue. I mean, no way! What? what? <laughs> That's the price. Yes. Just love the way he pipes up over there. No way! <laughs> Jeezy peeps. <laughs> I genuinely did not know the prices of these ones. Uh, Jeezy peeps. 478 or 1272. It's one of those shows already where producer Dory's just gone, you're making me check the prices now. He's, he's worried that he's made mistakes, he's typed the wrong pricing. Uh, but that is the price, as far as we know, uh, for your uh, your all purpose glue. 478 for two or 1272. Very, very busy for that. Uh, next up is your uh, your 3D glue gel, our Debbie's fave. Again, we're getting a shake of the head from the other side of the studio. He can't he can't believe it, can he? I can Promise you, promise you, promise you, £12.98, I've seen this in another craft store for one. For one, and look, you're getting that two of them there for eight seven eight here in the UK. That's a humdinger of a price, that. Humdinger of a price. <laughs> uh, 8 78 or 15 .92. Also, another great deal on your tape pen. You know how great these are. Uh, and this is the uh, the Dotty tape pen. So again, you know, particularly great if you have got uh, more difficult things that you need to pop adhesive onto, shaking his head over the side of the studio again. There's 7 98 uh, for two. I think uh, you get five, you get five meters, I think, on each of those as well, don't you? On each of those uh, rolls. I'm It'll be sure 12 meters, Ben. Uh, 12 meters 12. on each. Yep. 12. Well, yeah. Wow. Look at me. 
12, 798 or 11, 12 on those. Again, with your discount um, in Club Inspire, comes down even lower for you. Foam pads, let's talk about those. Uh, this is the uh, Crafters Companion Foam Pad Collection. You're going to get a bundle here of um, foam pads in different shapes and sizes. 20 sheets of assorted size foam pads. And the great thing is, is you get your your, your big daddy ones and you do get, I've never seen this one, you get some teeny weeny tiny ones as well, don't you? You do indeed, absolutely, for your real tiny little fiddly little bits of decoupage if you like to do that like I do. Uh, 2078 or 3292, again, saving 20% if you want to pop that into your basket. Um, next up is your red liner tape. Again, deal on this is great. 638 for two of those again, or 1272. Um, again, red liner tape, particularly good for your construction. You can be using it for your construction as well, or if you just want to use it for a bit of matting and layering, maybe add some glitter, or even do your heat embossing on, you absolutely can do. Uh, 638, 1272, that's a 20% saving, 10 meters of each there. Um, and then your low tack tape, again, this is brilliant. Uh, oh, two, 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 two for 798 again. We're doing loads of double deals here, but you're getting three on each, aren't you? So two, six, look at me with the maths, six for 798 or 1112. Uh, we can't believe these deals here at Glue School. Um, if you, after your uh, tacky glue, I saw someone in the uh, comments saying they want to try our tacky glue. There you go. Again, you're getting two of the bottles for 7.98 or 10.38, a 20% saving on that. Um, as well as, do you know what? This is one of those shows where, do you know what? We do we do lots of lovely shows where we have you know loads of um, you know great collections and pretty cardstock and all those kind of things. This is one of those shows where these are necessities. These are things that you don't want to run out of. You want to get in and grab these deals as quick as you can um, because as well with it being triple point you've got some great prices as well um, a few quick hellos Franz in from Maryland Patty in Michigan Melissa in Kentucky Susan from Melbourne Australia uh, Vicky from Knott's Betsy in Houston and Diane from New Jersey uh, lots of lovely comments already coming in we'll have a look at those in just a bit um, lots of love for me Christmas sweater now uh, we've got card stock on the show as well which we'll come around to in just a little bit but hang on a second it's time for lesson number one with Mr. Laird. Let's go into it, absolutely. <laughs> so what we're going to do, starting off with, we're going to be focusing on our uh, call-out all-purpose glue, as well as our tacky glue, both of which are Leanne's favourite, her absolute favourite, and the best glue in the world, in her opinion, is the uh, all-purpose glue. So on this one here, what you're going to be able to see, what you'll be able to do is absolutely perfect one for your mats and layers. So if you want to do your matting and layering, you want to use this one here. Mm -hmm. So it's solvent based. What that means is you're going to get no warping. You're not going to get any stringy bits either. And what's going to happen is when you do your mats and layers, it's going to be rock solid. Great as well for doing your uh, cardstock onto your paper or vice versa. But then what you've also got is your tacky glue. So each of these are going to be perfect for each of their own individual uh, adhesions. So with this one just here, it is a water-based glue. So if you like to do your tiny little tricky jobs, maybe you've got fine areas, you maybe want to do tiny little embellishments like your ribbon bows, they're going to be good as well. This is what's going to be good for your shiny surfaces. Now I don't know if you quite know, a lot of our cardstock that has got patterns on the top, it's like a bit of a plastic coating. That is actually solvent-based. So what would happen is if you were to do any of your layers using the solvent-based glue or all-purpose, it's going to split because it's solvent against the solvent. So this is why any of your coated cardstock that you've got, we're going to be using our actual tacky glue for this one. And again, this is what's going to be good for if you're doing anything construction like your boxes. What we're going to do is I've got a couple of bits of mats and layers just here ready to go. And we're going to show you kind of like the difference in how to actually adhere them on. So I've just got a piece of uh, Sarek paper but you know it's our good heavyweight paper and some cardstock so we'll do a bit of matting and layering just with our call out all purpose and then we're just going to do exactly the same in a moment using the tacky glue then what i'll do is i'll set it to the side for a few moments or two and then you'll come back and see the difference because what will happen if you do do your mats and layers with your tacky glue because this is water based this is when it's going to start to wrinkle it's going to wrinkle up it's not going to be sturdy it's not going to give you a really nice professional finish this is where your all-purpose is perfect for your mats and layers. 
So I'm just going to just wind that top off just so that it just comes out. There's a little white nozzle. Now this will last you weeks and weeks and weeks if you're not using it. Just make sure that you've just uh, twisted that nozzle so it's back so you've got that little white bit at the tip. So I'm going to open it, then all that I'm going to do is, this is my one from my craft bag, so I'm just making sure I've got my glue just down to the base. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go around the corners, so just going all the way around, giving that just a nice coating. We're just going to then go within the middle as well. And then what we're going to do is, I'm just giving it a little twist. See, no, no uh, stringy bits. You can see from up above, there's no stringy bits coming off that I'm having to get rid of. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to place that one on. But, oh gosh, look at that, Ben. Look, bit squint, bit squint. Don't yeah. like that. Oh. So then what we've got is repositionable. Got you. So we can take that straight off. Then what we've got is we have now got time to just do a bit of manoeuvring. So we can then just pop it into place like so. Then once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to just press with my hands. We've got that good to go, nice little bit of matting and layering. So this is where this is the perfect one. What I am going to do is we're going to do that again. However, we're going to do this with our uh, tacky glue. Okay. Now, keeping in mind there's a time and a place for each of these. Wouldn't necessarily be using our tacky glue for mats and layers because it's wet. So you're going to get a bit of, uh, it's kind of like a uh, crumpling. You're going to see that kind of the water within your actual papers. So exactly the same on this one is I'm just making sure that I've got my tip and then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go all the way around Ben. So I'm just going to do just like what I was doing with the old purpose. Mm -hmm. So make sure that I've got nice good coverage and just making sure we've got the glue all over. And then what we're going to do at this point is we're going to pop this one on as well. So if I just position that one. So if we're just going to just square that one, you do have that slight bit of manoeuvrability, but not that you're going to be concerned about that because you're going to be using the uh, all-purpose for your mats and layers. And what I want to do is I'm going to sit this tight to the side, Ben. Now, already you can't see it, but I can feel through my fingers. It's starting to get a bit bubbly and bubbly warm yeah. Yeah, from uh, the water just uh, starting to come through. So what I'm going to do at that point is I'm just going to sit this to the side. And then what that's going to do is that'll give me a bit of time. We'll go over a few other things and I can bring this back mm. and I can show you the difference between what it looks like once it's been dried with the collal against the uh, tacky glue. So if I set these ones to the side, then what I'm going to do for this one is let's just show you some uh, layer upon layer of mats and layers when it comes to your nest and dies. So this can be nest and dies. This absolutely can be any of your full mats and layers with your guillotine, any of your toppers, you know, Sarah's Signature, Nature Garden, anything like that. So then what I'm just going to do is we're going to use our Call All Purpose again because it's for mats and layers. Okay. So we're just going to make sure that we've just given that just a nice coverage all the way around. So just always start by going around the edges. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place this one over the top. So we're just, just centralizing that one up, getting it straight. But as I said before, you do have time to reposition it. In a wiggle room. Take it. You've got that wiggle room. So even on your actual cardstock, you've got that wiggle room. So let's take our next layer for this one. So we're just going to go over the back as well. So it's just about layering. It's giving you that confidence. The all-purpose glue will give you that confidence because you've got that ability to move it, to change it, to just get that in the right position if you just feel that it's just maybe a not, not enough, not yeah. quite lined up. But the benefit with this one as well is because when it's dried, it dries rock solid. So if you want that little bit extra peace of mind, if you want to have that stability, that rock solidness, however, you don't want to do lots of different mats and layers, mm. which obviously adds to the weight, but then you're also adding to the product that you're using. So to limit the product that you're using, using the Colal all-purpose glue, it then just really gives you that stability. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in a moment with some that we've already got done. Yeah. But I'm just going to just line this one up. So that is now our mats and layers. So that is then simply mat and layered using our Call Out All Purpose Glue that we can see there. Easily done, really quick, really effective, but that's, you know, your quickest way of doing that one. So then what I'm going to do is, this is the one, just so you can see, you're going to just pop it onto your card blank, you know, 
Simply done. What else can I say other than mats and layers? You get a good result when it comes to the all-purpose. Kind of got the best of all worlds there, really, the haven't you? The fact best. that you've got the manoeuvrability and yes. the wiggle time. So if you are kind of new to it and you're panicking about sticking stuff down and it's going to be stuck in the wrong place, you've got the manoeuvrability. But then, as Craig says, it's dry and rock solid for you. So you've got the best of everything there, really. You do. You absolutely, absolutely do. So what we're going to do is a bit of uh, pattern papers, two different ones on this one. I'll even just bring in, let's even bring in a bit of watercolour card as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm away to do it, a wee bit of matting and layering, I'm away to go and do it with my collal glue Ben, and I'm like, oh no, shouldn't be doing it with my uh, collal tacky glue, yeah. should be doing it with my uh, all purpose. Mm -hmm. So you know what, let's uh, just pop that to the side, let's just start now with our uh, collal all purpose. So we're popping that on, a little bit there, do you know something, I want to take this off. So you're going to... You're all, look at that, we're getting mm. sticky, yeah. we're getting gunky, yeah. we're spreading that all over doing? the place. It stays sticky oh. and tight. You don't want that. It's exactly the same when it comes to whether it's black card, you know, white card, matte card, any card like that. However, what we are going to do is go on to this one. Now watch this, because what this does is also going to protect your paper. I've damaged my paper, basically. Mm -hmm. I've damaged it and I've wasted it. So then for this one, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go all the way around. I'm just using my fingers and I'm just going to do this side bit. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going all the way around. And then what's happening is I can get rid of all of that excess glue. Wow. So we're just turning it around. Yeah. And then what's happening is it just comes into a little adhesive blob. Making a little glue ball. A little glue ball. Yeah. So whether you're doing your mats and layers, if you get any of that excess spillage that comes out from the side of it, yeah. any of your other adhesives, you will struggle to try and get it off or it may tear your cardstock. But look at all that does. All uh, you're doing yeah, is just now. round and round and round and you get your adhesive dot. So again, I'm just going to do exactly the same onto our watercolour card. Could be any card when it comes to, you know, our white card, our craft card, black card, anything like so. So any of the excess that you have got, it just comes off onto your little adhesive blob. Doesn't yeah. stay wet, it's still obviously tacky, but you know, it doesn't stay wet whatsoever. So you've got that confidence now in knowing that if you do get any ex excess glue, any that just spills out from the edge, then you don't need to worry. Just give that a slight rub. Yeah. The chances are you're not going to have as much excess as I am there. I'm doing that to prove a point. You're just going to have small amounts seeping out. And that's all that you need to do. Now, my hands are not sticky. They're not tacky. They're nothing like that. We've now saved that bit of cardstock. Same with that bit of pattern paper, whereas really, where I have really kind of ruined oh, yeah, uh, see this it. one just here. Yeah. We're taking away the fibres. We're breaking down the fibres. We can't really Really be using that one again so that is like the the two uh, main uh, elements when it comes to that one so what I want to do is I'm going to bring in our uh, couple of cards that we've already got just here now when it comes to this one here this one has been matte and layered using our tacky glue uh -huh. this one has been matte and layered using our all-purpose glue okay so staying just from the camera from up above now look how much that bends. That's our tacky glue. Yeah. So there's no stability there. There's nothing really holding that card together. That's what's going to give you the donkey legs when it's sitting on <laughs> uh, on the mantelpiece. Is that what it's called? So that's you, donkey you, when legs. it just falls. You can see it, it just starts to fall over time. It yeah. just starts to go. You know, it's that Bambi effect just here. So again, we go up above, and you can see just there. So you can see how it bends, but see how just at that bit, middle bit there, it's not quite bending so i'm really pressing as hard as i can there yeah and it's not bending yes near enough than that one yeah i yeah. don't need to do any different pressure there exactly the same when we come to this one so i know, even know by placing them down in my hand i can see that or feel that this one is the tacky this is the all-purpose so that's the tacky so it just really does good fan if you're a bit warm, really good fan, <laughs> bit wobbly for this one. Yeah. But then the stability yeah. of this one, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, can you can see. So if I was to, let's see if I can do that. Just, oh, so, there we go. I don't know if I can. Yeah, you can. Look at the difference there. <laughs> yeah. No, really, you can't really do them both at the same time, can I? So if you do <laughs> that one, really well, it's, it's like rubbing your stomach and patting your head yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Can't do it. That. 
you can even hear the difference as well. So this is where as well, it is the same mats and layers, but if you're like me, you like your mats and layers, but you want to reduce them slightly, then of course your call out of purpose, you are. As soon as you do it, as soon as you feel them, you're going to completely notice the difference. And then just to finish off Ben, let's just bring these ones that I have done earlier on, say oh, earlier yes. on, maybe about, what was that, about 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago, ago, if yeah, that. Probably. So if I then even just go, so we'll be able to see, so if you see from up above, so this is your all purpose, so it's still drying, but I can still start to feel uh, how uh, thick that it's really becoming, how the thick the layer and sturdy is. But then on this one, I'm seeing, as you can see, can you start to see all that, there we go, can you see all that warping? Yeah, yeah. Into, so the warping into that bit there, we've got all this yeah, warping right corner, yeah. down into here. So if I show you as well, maybe on the back, that'll show if I can catch the light. Look at look at all that warping, that's yeah, kind yeah. of all of the, the excess, the water just seeping all the way through into that one here. But then on this one, you've got it straight, it's sturdy. There's no warping, there's no bleeding of water, nothing like that one. So you can see how this is then going to be the perfect one for doing your mats and layers because you've got all that extra stability within that one. Wow, um, some brilliant demos so far. I, I, I know we've got loads of questions coming in, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We will um, we'll go back to Craig in just a second with, with some questions because uh, there's lots coming in. But if you want to go for the uh, the all-purpose glue, don't forget we've got that in a, uh, a two-pack for you. Really, really busy for this. In fact, a quarter of the stock has already gone uh, of your all-purpose. It's a great time to stock up because A, the prices are low, 478 for two, right? You're saving 20% and you're getting triple points on all of your buys as well up until Sunday. So this is really a great time. You know, not one of the most glamorous shows that we've ever done, but it's one of the shows that, you know, you, you need to get involved with because you don't want to run out of your adhesives. Triple points, 478, 25% uh, of the stock of the all-purpose glue has gone. Um, if you do want to go for the tacky glue, I'm sure we're going to see more about that uh, as we head through the show as well. Uh, that is also available um, in a two-pack, 798, again with the 20% saving, or 1038 for that. Triple points, of course, as well. Uh, so plenty of reasons to get that into your basket too. Uh, something else which is proving really, really popular uh, are these foam pads. Um, if you like to add uh, layers to your um, to your card making, uh, then this is absolutely brilliant. Um, you've got the small and the large available, and the great thing is you've got some really, really big foam pads in there, and then as I said, you go right down to the sort of um, diddy sizes in here too, so for every kind of uh, foam pad you need, you've got it within that collection. 20 sheets in your uh, small pack, and 20 sheets in the large pack as well. 2078 or 3292 that again is a 20 percent saving and again that is on triple points as part of our rec club inspire um anniversary and the tweezers as well by the way uh, lots of you getting involved and grabbing all of these goodies too uh, this is great four piece tweezer collection look at the price of these 426 or 565 uh, you're going to get your flat end tip here you've also got your uh, straight point tip You've got your angle point tip and the needle point tip in there as well. So pretty much every tweezer that you would need uh, for every occasion in that collection. And again, the kind of thing that you can buy for that crafter in your life is a brilliant little stocking filler. Uh, the kind of tools, again, that are so handy in your day-to-day -day crafting. Um, 426 or 565. Something else, which uh, I know loads of you use already, but if you haven't got one of these, uh, then definitely have a look at it. If you're into your stamping, this is a great bundle to go for. Uh, the stamping plate collection. Um, you hear a lot of people who um, fall out of love with stamping because, uh, you know, w whether or not they just can't get the hang of it or whether it's dexterity issues that are causing them problems. Uh, these stamping platforms really, really do um, come into their own because you've got the ability to position the stamp where you want it to go uh, and then it's there, isn't it? In that position, so particularly great if you are doing batch making, um, these are brilliant but as i've said if you just can't get the hanger stamping then go for these you've got your four by four 
uh, and that one is, uh, is it six by six on yeah six by six so the two different size stamping platforms and you've got your stamping mat included there as well uh, in 12 by 12 super super handy to get you back into stamping to get you loving stamping again and as I say if you're someone who stamps a lot this is really going to speed things up for you giving you accuracy each and every time you do stamp uh, again look at the saving there saving over 10 pounds almost 11 pounds uh, and over 15 dollars as well triple points on that too so again do not miss out um, as it's at glue school of course we've got lots more to show you um, all these questions coming in as well which we will um, tackle but if you're kind of already into your adhesives, you know what you want, you know what you like, and you want a bit of everything, this kit is brilliant because that's exactly what you do get, a little bit of everything, um, of each adhesive that you need. You're going to get your um, three collection of low tack tape. You're going to get a selection of 3D foam pads in here. You've got your all purpose glue included with this as well. And your 3D uh, glue plus your dotty tape pen and two lots of your red liner tape included as well. £36 or $61, uh, saving $16.42 or $22.60. And remember, triple points on everything as well. Um, right, so many questions coming in. Maybe we'll put, maybe we'll, about halfway through, should we do, do a little round of questions and answers? I think that's what we'll do. We'll save them all up. Um, but we've looked at the all-purpose glue. Lesson two, I believe, is tacky glue. It is indeed. <laughs> We're going to go on. It's an awfully long pause, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go on to uh, the tacky glue. Well, I just want to show you just quickly, just before we go on to our uh, tacky glue, these are all these different embellishments that have actually been attached using the all-purpose glue. Wow. So you can see here, absolutely wow. So you can uh, use them to attach any of your projects, any of your makes, whether you're doing home decor, maybe you want to do canvases, anything like that. So we've got uh, some resin shapes, we've got chipboard shapes, we've got some bells, we've got tiny little, little uh, marble that you can see here, which is a completely round, which is always hard to stick in and out. Metal keys, huh. the outside of shaker parts, all of this has been stuck down with our all purpose. And you can see <laughs> just there. You're today. Really, really having a wobbling day with all of these, <laughs> just to show when it comes to our adhesives, you know, it's always Leanne at the head of product development as she sourced all of these. She's gone to the manufacturers when it comes to all of our adhesives to get the best of the best. And that's no exception when it comes to our all purpose. So, on that note, we'll then just go back over onto our uh, tacky glue and show you the other ways of using that and ways of, you know, construction. So when you're doing construction, you're always best to use your tacky glue. With your tacky glue, it's one of those that's water-based, so you want to, the smallest amount, the better. A lot of people sometimes think, you know, they're saying, oh, I can't get things to stick. I'm putting on loads of glue, but it's not sticking. And that's why mm. you've got way too much glue. The, the less you've got, the actual better. And that's what we're going to show you here. So this is where many times when we're doing construction, we'll always tend to go to our tacky glue. You can use our tape runner, which we'll go over uh, just shortly. But when it comes to our tacky glue, you can use them straight out of the bottle. Or we do, do I'm not sure if they're on the show or if they're certainly on the website, we do these little bottles. Handy. So these are so handy. So these are, uh, they come empty and you get a couple in a pack. So you're just going to just fill them up just with your tacky glue and you can even do your all purpose as well. You've got your little pin at the top there so it just uh, enables it to uh, keep wet up and I say keep wet it doesn't dry out mm. and you can use it time and time again same with the tacky glue this will last you such a long time just make sure the nozzle is twisted to the top so you've got no air coming into that top bit and you'll be absolutely fine just uh, store it as well either on its side or just normally up and down the way what you can do is you're coming to the very very end of it yeah. you can then always just start to store it upside down but unless you're coming to the end of it i would just store it normally just uh, upright so you've got your glue on that one so what we're going to do is this is what a lot of people will tend to do so you know myself and quite a few of us on the team will get messages saying i'm trying to use uh, my wet glue it's not sticking and that's because what you're starting to do many are actually doing you kind of think with glue the more the better yeah you do so you do it's just something that you automatically think with glue the more the better now what this is doing now i'm going to then if i come then close up just so that we can see all of that glue that is then 
onto there. So if I that in, I'm just, we're looking down at that, but there mm -hmm. we go. Now that, Ben, is way, way too much glue. Seriously? That is so much glue that you don't actually need. You're actually wanting to take a good fair bit off of that. Yeah. So in actual fact, what we'll do is I'm going to sit that onto the side. Let's just bring in another base. And this is what we want to show you. So you're going to put a thin layer. But what you're going to do as well is you're not going to attach it straight away. So you're going to do, if you're doing a box, do a section at a time. And just leave each section just a couple of seconds. Just for that. It's like the glue is starting to slightly dry out. It's getting really tacky. And that then just really enables you to do the construction of your box or your project. So all that I'm just going to do is, we can see just there from up above, just literally, I'm just going just around and I'm even using the nozzle just to spread. That is literally all that I'm just popping on. So again, I'm going to come close up because I know I can't quite see from the actual white on white. So if I then see, can oh, you yes. see how little, how much difference there is between yeah, the two yeah. of them? You know, it's that little, I actually just look completely see through onto the cardstock. Yeah. So your initial first impression is you're going to stick that together, which we're not. We're going to then just move on to this next section. And we're just going to do just exactly the same. I'm just going to go around the edges slightly and then I'm just actually using the nozzle just to help pull in the glue. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same. So leaving it each section at a time, just for a few seconds, by the time I get round to that first one, that's going to lift it enough just for it starting to slightly dry. And when I say dry, it becomes even more tacky, which just means it adheres onto your cardstock. So we're just going to then just pop that one on. And then what I'm just going to do as we then pop that to the side, I just always like to use my fingers just to hold that one. Do you get wiggle time with that as well? You might have just said that, but I've... You, you've got a slight bit of wiggle time to right. these ones. Um, what you do is just need to uh, make sure as you know, you're getting it quite spot on as, um, you know, as quick as you can. Mm. So if I was to then just pop this one over just like that one, then at this point, I've got the ability just to take it off. But literally, once you've held it for a good few seconds or so, this is when if you start to peel it off, you'll start to see the fibre starting to rip. And that's because already it's actually drying into the opposite side. The glue is drying into the fibres of your cardstock. And that is how quick. So when we say tacky glue, that is how quick it is actually uh, starting to become tacky because they can then just really go into the fibres of your card. Yeah. So we're just going to do that next one as well. So we're just going to pull these ones together. Now, if you've got our little purple uh, soft craft clips, we've got little clips that we've got, maybe little clothes pegs, maybe even little crafting pegs. What then you can do as well is just pop a little then, peg yeah. onto each section, you know, maybe just for a couple of minutes, five minutes or so for it to really grab. But then even then we can see there how it's picking up, it's picked the opposite side, it's really starting to adhere to it. You know, the edges aren't coming away already, it's not falling away. You know, inexpensive wet glues out there, what you'll find is it's so jam packed full of water that the sides actually just split away. That's not what you want. You need that real bit of tackiness within it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit that one just to the side. But what you can also do with the tacky glue, and this is when I would tend to just use my uh, tiny little small applicator. You can still use your uh, the full size one. But I'm just going to bring in a card here just to the side here. Now, tiny little embellishments, whether it's like little bits of ribbons, I could then even just use my tacky glue just to pop these on. Yeah. So all that I'm just literally going to do is let's just pop tiny little bit of tacky glue onto uh, where I want it to go. And then I'm just going to bring these ones in here. So we're just going to pop that one. I think I've got the wrong way around. There we go. So I'm just going to then just hold that just for a few seconds. And then gems, gems that don't have adhesive on the back. So if you've got any of our craft kits, any of our craft boxes, you know how we sometimes we get boxes of pearls or gems and that in them, which aren't sticky, they're not self-adhesive. So this is when our little uh, applicator, or at least our tacky glue comes in handy. So I'm just going to do tiny little dots of our tacky glue and that's literally all that I'm just doing is just tiny, tiny little dots right down into here. I know it's that tiny, you can't even see them. 
And then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to come in just with my gems. And because it's tacky, even although the back of the gem is a more plastic coating, yeah. it will still dry onto that. It will then adhere onto your cardstock, your paper, and that will be as tough as boots by the time <laughs> that is dried. So whether it is you're doing your boxes, your construction, so making your boxes with your scoreboard, your double-sided dies, anything like that, or you want to add little accents, little bows, maybe little gems, anything like that, then you can then start to be using that. So you're going to find within a card blank, you could be using your all-purpose glue to do your mats and layers. And then if you just want to finish off any of the fine detail, the little ribbon, the little bows, tiny little embellishments, then that is enough just to actually hold it into place using your tacky glue. Wow. Seriously, I'm learning. I am learning. There is who knew as well. Have you, how many times have you done that with glue and it's not stuck? You put loads of glue on, haven't you? Because you've got more. More is better. Nah, absolutely not. And all the differences between the all-purpose and the tacky. This is brilliant knowledge. So many of you uh, saying you're recording the show and you're going to be keeping this, um, you know, for kind of future reference. There's so many questions. Um, so producer Johnny, I don't know when you want to do a sec, but we, there is loads. So I don't know whether we do some in a minute or later on, but. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll, 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 have, we'll do another lesson and then we'll fire off loads of uh, questions. So Craig, I'm aware that there are lots coming in. Um, so thank you for all of these. Um, if you want to go for the tacky glue, uh, 798 for the two or 1038, again, a 20% saving. Triple points, don't forget as well. So don't miss out on that. Uh, lots of people uh, interested in these daubers as well. Um, lots of people saying that they want to get these or have uh, already grabbed them. Um, super, super handy to have these um, daubers. You're going to get 40 uh, with the storage case as well. So if you're looking for you know, a, a nice way to be able to get your, uh, your inking done without kind of you know, staining things and uh, you know, getting your fingers all mucky, these are absolutely brilliant. And you've got so many in there for all the different colors that no doubt you've got in your collection. And as we've said, it comes in a very handy little storage kit as well. £21, $28 is a 15% saving back in stock. Not had this for a while. It's the first time I've seen it since I've been here um, since September. So grab that whilst you can because it's proving really, really popular. Uh, that's proving popular. Also, this essential card um, collection is brilliant. Again, you know, you talk about not wanting to run out of your adhesives. You don't want to run out of your card stock either. And this is a heck of a buy. It's 150 sheets of everything that you'd want. So you've got your A4 white stamping card here, 60 sheets of that, 300 GSM, your kind of everyday card stock uh, that you need to have in your life. This craft card stock, again, absolutely gorgeous. Always think this is particularly good around this time of year. I think that craft card stock looks nice with your Christmas makes if you're making little tags as well. Um, your craft cards are always super, super handy. Uh, 50 sheets of that, A4 again, 280 GSM. And then to kind of complete the ultimate trio, you've got your matte black as well. Uh, that again, A4, 40 sheets and 300 GSM. It's the kind of thing that you don't want to run out of, and with a bundle like that, where you've got the lot, you're not going to run out too quickly, are you not? Twenty-three fifty or thirty-five fifty um, is the deal on that. Triple points once again. Stock up. Take advantage of the triple points. Take advantage of these deals as well. And also, again, a first for me, uh, the uh, ink jet acetate that's not easy to say for your first show back on a thursday now uh, this is an eight sheet pack you're going to get three packs equaling your 24 so you've got the ability here to use your printer at home to print out onto your acetate one of the things that i was wondering with this is how do you know which side you can print on well very handily um down here i was reading whilst craig was demonstrating and uh, it does tell you that one corner is slightly curved uh, when you hold the sheet in front of you uh, the curved corner needs to be uh, on the top left corner so you know exactly which side you can print on is what I'm saying. It's all explained if you've never used it before. Uh, another super, super uh, handy uh, bit of kit to have in your craft room. Nine pounds for three packs. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, nine, nine pounds for 24 sheets, which is amazing. Uh, $13, uh, again, use your um, platinum discount on that. That comes down to a super low deal 
for you. Uh, don't miss out on that. Um, check the web as well because we've got loads of other goodies on the show. We've got Nina, we've got watercolour cardstock, we've got my favourite glitter cardstock as well. So many deals to be had. Buy what you need right now because, as I said, prices are low, triple points. Um, this is phenomenal. There's so many questions coming in. I might have to get the old coat and stethoscope out in a minute. We've not seen that for a while. We'll do the questions in just a bit, but right now it's time for lesson three with Mr. Laird. Which this one is all about one of my favorite dimension, decoupage. So this is where for first off, we are going to focus on the glue gel. So with our glue gel here, what you'll see is that Ben went over it earlier on, but in the box, what you're going to get is your collal glue gel. You're also going to get your syringe. Oh. You're also going to get your little stopper as well. You're also going to get your little winder. So this is what's going to wind up the uh, the glue gel from the base. Now, as you start to get uh, a few of these within your stash, keep a hold of them. These are good for your toothpastes or anything like that to oh. get all these excess bits out. So, you know, keep a hold of them. Use them elsewhere within your crafting. Mm. But you're also going to get, mine has just seemed to have disappeared, but you're also going to get a little long nozzle for any fine details. I've never used that one. I believe Leanne doesn't usually use it either because it goes straight into the syringe or you can do what I do and just take it straight out the tube that we will then show you. So our glue gel with this one here it is like a silicon. So it's all the uh, the benefits, the properties that you're going to know from your silicon glue. However, with this one here, what you're going to get is no silicon in it. Oh. So you're not going to get any of that silicon smell. You know, it is un believably strong so you're going to be able to do your crafting with it but think of the things that you would maybe fix around the house that you would use silicon you can use that as well have you seen any past shows with Leanne or have you heard her talk about on shows she's uh, sorted many things throughout her house when it comes to our call out 3d glue gel she even had a tent that had a rip in it and she managed to just patch that up with it, and it still tent with it did you just absolutely say? wow so this is where you're initially you're thinking of the silicon but it's not. It is our call out glue gel and it's got all the properties of silicon, but it's really, really strong and there's no smell, which is even perfect. So what we're going to do to open up your syringe, we're just going to just uh, open it up. So we've got our uh, actual nozzle as well as the, the main uh, compartment. So uh -huh. this is my one that I'd already been using. So what I'm just going to do to start with is we're just going to then just feed that one just through the back. Now, what will happen as well is the end of the syringe just sits nicely on top of the opening at the top of your, uh, your glue gel. So all that I'm just going to do is I'm just using my fingers and I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to try and do it, maybe be better close up with this one. So if I sit it, there we go, just at the side. So I've got it just so that the nozzle is just over the end of the syringe. Yeah. Maybe I'll hold it that way maybe so we can see. Just try to do this back to front, left to right, so we can see. So then once we have got it just like that, there we go. I'm then just going to just start to turn ah. the bottom. So if I just feed that back That's in. That's genius, that little tool. So it is, it really is. I and definitely this is, need that for my toothpaste. Exactly, yeah, so your toothpaste, anything that you think that, you know, if you've got any moisturizer in these little tubes or containers, you can be using it. So what I'm then just going to do is, I'm trying to do it so you it's can It's not easy doing it back to front, It's not easy back to front, no, it's not. So I'm then just going to turn, and then hopefully by, in that syringe, you'll see yep, the glue goes. gel starting to come up. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going just until I filled it about two thirds. So you're just wanting to fill it two thirds. So I'm going to keep going, keep going, and keep going. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe that excess off just with the, the back of it. I'm just going to pop this one in, and then what I want to do is you've still got that little bit of air, yeah. which is, if I bring in this card blank just here, we've got that little bit of air just still at the top just here. So what that enables us to do is we're just going to press all that air out, and then we've got just a couple of millimetres of glue just poking out the tip of our syringe. So what I'm going to do is I can pop that cap on. Yeah. As long as that stays like that, that will be good to go till you come back to it. So then you know by popping that little bit of glue on the end, that's going to create a seal. So no air is going to get into it. So therefore it's not going to dry out. You're not going to waste any glue and you are good to go every single time. So sometimes you think, oh, I've got a little bit of waste of glue there. You wipe it off. Just keep it on top. Yeah. Keep it on top and that creates the seal. So that is our glue gel. So I'm just going to be taking this one off. 
So this is where there is the two ways that you could use it, a couple of ways, I suppose. Straight from the syringe, mm -hmm. or you can always do what I do as well sometimes, is I just use my pokey tool. Yeah. So I'm just going to take that excess there. Uh, so that. then you can just start to just take yeah. little bits off of your pokey tools, whatever you find easier or easiest. So what I'm going to do is I've got some of our uh, decoupage just here. So if you've got any decoupage, any layers that you like to do, this is going to come in perfect for it. Or if you just want to add extra height, then you can do. So what I'm going to do straight away is, there's a couple of benefits when it comes to your glue gel, is you can just start to layer them on straight on top of each other, one on top of the other. We do also have our flower form and ball tools on the show as well. So all that you can do as well is either on the back of your hand, we can just start to shape. So I'm just adding a little bit of shape all the way around. And then I'm just going to do a tiny little bit more just into here. So then what I'm just doing as well is I'm doing a lot of the curving all the way around the edges. Yeah. And that creates a bit of a domed effect that we can see from up above. So then I'm going to set that one to the side. And then what I'm going to do is we'll do a couple more. I'm going to go for my next one down. You get three of them. And then you also get a sponge mat as well. Yes. So I say you get three, but you actually get six in total. Because you you've got and you the get six your finger ends. toboggan as well. Yeah, you get the finger toboggan included. I love how you call it that. It is though, isn't it? It's a little little finger toboggan look. So you get there you go. Um the six tools, double ended of course. I mean look at the size of that one. You got you got the massive one and then you got the teeny tiny one. Big balls, small balls and your um, your finger toboggan as well. So super handy, uh, it really is. Oh, what a deal on that, by the way. $14.99 is ridiculous. $19.95, use your Platinum Club Inspire membership. It comes in even further for you as well. That is an, oh, I can't hold it. It's such a hot deal, I can't keep hold of it. Uh, but listen, don't miss out on that again. Really, really super handy to go for. Love it. They really are. So not just for your flower forming, but if you like to die cut your flowers in paper, then you can be using them to shape them too. Or if you like to do anything like your decoupage, then you can be using them too. So I've just done exactly the same as I done with that first one, just to create a bit of shape to uh, our actual images. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with my main image and we've got our glue gel. So what you can then start to do is you can just start to layer them up. Now with glue gel, uh, you have complete control of how much depth that you want. We'll come on to foam pads in a moment, but with glue gel is, you know, if you want it one millimeter, if you could even get half a millimeter, you could make it that if you wanted to. That's how much in control that you've got yeah. with your glue gel. So all that I'm just going to do is just within the middle, I'm just going to put just a nice little blob. And I'm going to do that just a couple of times, just within the middle, just here. You can, if you want, add a little bit all the way around. I don't because what we can then just do is your image, well, certainly the back of it, where your glue gel is, that's going to adhere to your cardstock. And then this is where you can have a little play. Now you can then push that down if you want that to be a little bit more flatter, or then you can then start to pull that up if you want extra height to it. Yeah. So this is where you are in that full control with your glue gel. How long does that take to dry as well? Have you got a, a, a time like you have with the other glues to kind of re-maneuver, if that's a word? So what I would say is, it is touch dry yeah. within about 20 minutes. Oh, it's okay. However, I wouldn't necessarily be giving it to the recipient or putting it in an envelope until the next day. Right. But you can then, you know, start to move it about or place it in different places in your craft room out of the way. But yeah, I would dig it, give it to the recipient maybe in about the next day. Yeah. Um, we've got questions coming in about the glue gel. We'll tackle all of these questions, by the way, in just a minute. We're going to do our uh, our first little, well, I say little, it's going to be fairly lengthy because there's loads of questions coming in. We'll do our first kind of set of questions in just a minute and then we'll do some more towards the end of the uh, the second hour. I can't believe we're almost an hour into glue school. Normally, I get bored at school. I did get bored at school. I'm not getting bored at this school. I'm getting bored of this. I'm, I mean, I mean, seriously, I'm learning. I, I feel like I'm always learning. And this is, again, like loads of you said, what are those shows that you want to record or certainly mark it on uh, YouTube because you can save shows to, um, I want to call them a set list, but playlist, can't you? Uh, but keep this one because if you're ever in doubt, if you ever have one of those days where you're thinking, which glue do I need to use for this and how do I... This would be absolutely perfect because you can always refer back to it. 
um, because it, it can be confusing, can't it, the world of a DCIV, it, it can be, knowing which one is the right one, how long it takes to dry, uh, you know, whether you should be using this glue with this card start, that glue with this, so this is super, super handy, and there's still a chance for you to get those questions in as well, the first batch of which will fire um, at uh, Mr. Laird, we're calling him, um, in just a uh, few minutes. I feel like you need one of those big teacher's hats. The big, yeah. You know, and the cape as well. The cape and that as well. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't say no to trying that on. All right, I'll, I'll get you one. <laughs> so just layering them up, Ben. So I'd done half of it using the syringe, and then I'd done the other half just using my poker tool like I would tend to do. But you can see the dimension that you get. You've got yeah. a lot of dimension. There we go. So then this is where by shaping it, you actually, there, you can see the dimension straight away from, up. Oh, oh, no, if, if we get the camera just to stay still, the camera stays still, there and then we there go. we go. You can see the dimension just on top there. So this is by actually shaping it, you're actually starting to hide that glue gel. Of course, you don't have to shape it if you don't want to, but then that is having that option there. So I'm going to move that one just out of the way for the time being. The other option that we do have as well, and it's one that you see me using time and time again, is our foam pads. Yes. Now, the benefit with having the foam pads is it's an instant. You know, you don't have to let it dry or wet. You've got that instant um, actual adhesion. You do, of course, though, you know, you are limited in the different uh, depths that you've got within foam pads. Mm. So uh, unlike glue gel, whereas you can have it as uh, deep or as thin as you wish. And I guess you're more inclined to having to get it right first time as well, aren't you, with foam pads? That's it, yeah. With foam pads, you can, if you lightly press it, you still have that bit of uh, manoeuvrability time that yeah. I'll show you in a moment. However, yeah, once it is secure, it is secure. So if you feel sometimes a bit uncomfortable or uneasy getting it right first time, then glue gel is absolutely uh, the right choice for you. Or if you're like me and uh, you're quite confident in getting mm. it in the right place first time round, then of course you can just go for your foam pads. Do you like foam pads? Yeah, now it's something that I occasionally, occasionally use. <laughs> not a lot. No, no, not a lot. Every now and again. Yeah. But that bundle, that starter bundle that you were shown, Ben, is we've got tiny little ones, mm. and we've got even these ones I've got just to the side of me, just here. Now, what you can do is you can cut your foam pads. So I use a lot of larger foam pads, and then I just cut them down. However, having the small ones already in size for you just makes it a little bit easier if maybe you're in a, a bit of a rush to make a really nice card and you don't want to go cutting all your foam pads, then you've got that small element there for you. So then what I'm going to do, I don't have a card blank for this one, but there's kind of like a myth that you can't hide your foam pads if you use foam pads. Now, huh. you can. You can just do exactly the same like I've been doing with the glue gel and just shaped it slightly. And then we've got our foam pads here. So this is one of the sizes that you get. So you've got your nice uh, elongated uh, foam pad that we've got here. So let's just go into uh, the next size down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip that one. And because I've done a bit of shaping to my foam pad. What you can start to see is, if I even just tip it from up above, because we've got that dome, can you see that you'll easily hide the foam pad? Yeah. If you wanted extra dimension, just cut it in half and stick the other half on and that will really make it stand out. And then what we're just gonna do is we're gonna pop that one into place, like so. So I'll just do a couple of them. I won't do them all, because like you said, I cannot believe we're an hour into this I know, it's already. Flown. And it's... you're, you're going to take an hour answering all these questions. <laughs> Seriously, there's so many. But we love that this is what we're here for. You know, as much as obviously, you know, we're, we're, we're here to sell, uh, you know, and make money for the business, we're also here to educate. And that's the important thing, that you get those questions in. And I love it on shows like this, um, when you send in those questions, uh, because I don't have to answer any of them. It's, um, it's great. But I've, I really feel like I've learned a lot today. Honestly, I, I really do. I really do. Maybe I'll be hosting the next glue school. That would be good. Ooh. That would be really good. I'll, no? say, I'll stay this side of the studio. You'll it's fine. stay at that side. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just layering them up. You can see, like I've been doing here, if you want to snip them, then you can do. And as I was saying before, the benefit with the foam pad is it's instant. Yeah. So I could easily pop this onto a card. And then what I can then do is pop it into the post or give it to the recipient. I don't need to let it dry. What you can also do as well, now I'm just going to, let's, I've got some actual pads behind me. If you are like me, 
and you actually like your levels to be straight. I don't actually shape mine a lot. I like my levels to be straight. And there's, there's kind of a reason for that, Ben, is years and years ago when I used to get Christmas cards from my grad, they always had a little bit of height to them and they always had that little foam pad underneath. And I used to always peek and I used to think, wow, that's amazing that you've got that height and dimension. Although back then I didn't know the words height and dimension, but I just thought it was magical. And there's yeah. this little foam pad at the back holding it together. And I think that's why I like to see these things because it reminds me when I was younger and these cards that I used Aww. to get from, from my gran. So if you do like to have them all on one level, if you do think that you're going to see that white space of your pad, you can still color the edges. Yes. So just go around the edges of your foam pad with whatever color that matches your uh, design, your background, whatever it is that you are uh, assembling. And then it just means that when you do go to pop them on, you're going to have kind of a bit of a matching colour on the back. Perfect. So if I was to stick that on, if you were to see any, what you're just going to see is like a halo of pink yeah. all the way around. So I think that one should have gone there. And see how I've not pressed all these together uh, really firmly, which meant I was able to move that one off. And then let's just place that one into place. And then I'll pop that one back on and then pop that one into there. And then what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to press, press my foam pads in. So straight away, so we can see it. So we've still got the curvature. You know, you can see even there, if I then to lift that one, you've got that pink yeah. shining through. So it just hides that white, if that's not what you're wanting to see. But whether it is your glue gel, Whereas probably, I would say, majority of crafters would maybe use or at least start with the glue gel because you've got that movability, you've got that ease, you can determine how thick or how uh, thin you want it. But then some, like myself, just have, like to have that instant so you can use your foam, foam pads. So either way, it's absolute personal preference whether you use a glue gel or you use the foam pads. There are pros and cons for each of them. If you are within any doubt whatsoever, start with your glue gel because that will make it a bit easier for you if you're a new beginner to crafting and then you can always try your foam pads. But having them both within that starter bundle, perfect. It's a winner. Absolutely is. If you want to go for the uh, foam pad collection that you're seeing on screen here, uh, you're getting yeah the two the two uh, loads really. So 20 sheets in each bag, small and the large, and the smallest. Well, you can see how tiny that is on me under my thumb there. So it's teeny tiny, really. Uh, and then you go up to your your biggest ones, which are sort of um, well, you can see that size there. So you've got you, you've got foam pads for sort of every size uh, project. Um, that you need 2078 or 3292 for that collection uh, but as Craig has said you know what if you love the idea of having a bit of everything and, and actually you're seeing now with this glue school aren't you that, that there's a need for each and every one there's a, there's a there's a time and a place for each and every um, adhesive so that's why this starter kit is super super handy because you're going to get your uh, foam pads you're going to get your low tack tape you're going to get a dotty tape runner as well you're going to get your 3d uh, um, uh, glue also you're going to get your all-purpose glue and you're going to get uh, the red liner tape as well 36 pounds or 61 dollars triple points of course don't forget as well so if you're looking to get those points up move into the next uh, level of the club inspire and uh, then now is the time to do it 36 or 61 and if you're already in the club inspire for your platinum remember that's another 20 percent off that um, collection which is amazing as we've already said, if there is a particular style of um, glue that you like, we do have uh, bundles for you as well, as far as um, individuals are concerned. Let's just remind you of the details of um, all those. If you want to go for the all purpose, uh, then yeah, you've got the ability to go for um, two of those. Again, the price is phenomenal, as we saw at the start of the show. Great for doing uh, your uh, mats and layers with as well. Just your kind of day-to-day -day handy glue, your all-purpose super for 4.78 or 12.72, 20% uh, 
uh, triple um, points on that, of course, as well. Um, great little buy is that. Uh, the 3D glue gel that we've just seen as well. I've got so many glues here. Uh, here he is. Um, that, again, proving really, really popular. Just saw that last demo there with Craig. The fact that you've got your glue, you've got your little um, syringe in there as well. And that really cool little twisty applicator. How cool is that? Need some of that for my toothpaste. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, 878 or 1592 if you want to go for the two pack of 3D glue gel. Uh, and as I said, we've got loads of other goodies on the show as well, from cardstock to the stamping platforms, uh, from tweezers to ball tools. It is all there. Check the web for full details on all of those deals. And there is um, definitely something for you. And again, if you're watching for a crafter today, these are the kind of things that they will appreciate. The kind of things that, do you know, I, I, was, I, I this is a bit, a bit of a strange analogy, but I always wait to, uh, to Christmas to get socks. Do you know what I mean? Because you never think about potentially buying those during the year. So it may well be that you've got a crafter in your life who you know, doesn't stock up on things like the glue and the tape during the year. They just sort of wait. And this is a great time to be able to get it. Get this bundle and you've got everything or you can pick and choose from all the other goodies that we've got on the show as well. Right, we've got so many questions, Craig. So um, I'll fire these up. You, you might have to be fairly uh, brief. I'm not, I'm not saying that you talk a lot. But, um, oh, I do. Yeah, okay. When it comes to DZ, so I can do. All I right. can talk a lot. All right. Well, let, well let's keep them fairly, fa fairly succinct because there's loads here. So the first one is about the daubers. Can you use the daubers with gilding waxes and pastes? You can do. You know, when it comes to your uh, gilding waxes, I would always say it's always best to get your finger because you've actually got that better pressure and you can then determine. But you can do if you want to. Okay. Uh, Deborah asks, which glue works best in the mini glue bottles? In the mini glue bottle, bottles, either your tacky or your all-purpose, you can use uh, one of each in them. Oh, this is great speed. Good speed, Craig. Good speed. Um, Angela says, uh, read the all-purpose glue. Does it dry clear? It does. Yes, absolutely. And the tacky as well. Good. Uh, this is brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Linda says, making the Broadway purse, but cutting it out in a clear vinyl, what glue would you use to stick it together? The usually vinyl will be self adhesive. Yeah. So you also get things like our uh, sprays. Now they're going to be coming up later on on cartload. So you could be using our uh, permanent uh, adhesive spray. Um, so use that one. Tune in on cartload later on. We'll be going over them. He's whizzing through these, isn't he? We're going to get loads in here. George Yan says, What would you use with glitter cardstock? So your glitter cardstock, if that is to create your glitter cardstock, again, use your permanent spray, then sprinkle glitter over the top. If you are then wanting to use, uh, you, to actually assemble it, then you could be using your uh, tacky glue. A couple of comments here. June says, Craig, this is great. I've always gets confused when reaching for wet glue, so I really, really appreciate this class. Kathy says, I never knew the differences of all of the glues. Tony asks, how about craft card? I always use tacky on craft card. Craft card, tacky is fine, but still it goes exactly the same with mats and layers. If you're doing your mats and layers or that, and um, then you could use your all purpose and then use your tacky elsewhere. Uh, Mary Lee says, it's the hottie Scotty wearing his hero cape, rescuing us from glue mistakes. Thank you, Craig. Uh, right, this is a long one here from Betsy, who says, Craig, what do you recommend for CC matte mirror card to be on top of the same matte mirror card? I'm trying to make the Broadway person, everything is sticking, but the handles, the handles are matte mirror, as is the overall shape piece for the handle to be glued to. I don't even understand that question. Right, so I think what I can kind of gather with that, but like I was saying earlier on, when it comes to our coated cardstock, because it is actually solvent based, so therefore if you then try and put our all purpose, which is solvent based, onto an all uh, solvent based cardstock, it's not actually going to work. So what I would do is use your uh, tacky glue for that one. Alternatively, what you could also do as well, what we're going to go over just in a minute, as it just so happens, is our tape runners. Okay, um, tell me when to stop because there's loads coming in here. Evelyn says, Craig, I've been making boxes using the Mirror Luxury cardstock and after a few days, the decorative pieces seem to have come off. I've been using the tacky glue. Any suggestions on how to avoid this? You can be using your all-purpose glue. Okay. You could even use your glue gel as well if you want, but all purpose, like we showed you when it comes to this board. So popping all your different things in. Amazing. A um, couple more. Joanna says, which glue is best for double-sided Centura Pearl? Uh, exactly the same as uh, I was just explaining earlier on. So if you're doing mats and layers with it, use your all purpose. But then if you want to do just little detail of that, then you can use your tacky glue or you can do your tape runners. Uh, Kimberly says, I, I want to know 
Uh, when to use Nina versus stamping card, please? Right here, so stamping card is when you want to stamp an image, but not necessarily color it, or if you're using your uh, water reactive blending ink pads, but when it comes to Nina, that's what you're going to use when you're going to color onto it, using your tri-blend pens or your classics. Okay, one final quick one, because I know Johnny's called time. Um, does the, I've started to finish, does the glue gel, says Diane, work good for foam flowers too? Yes, you can do, you can do. We always say hot glue for foam flowers because obviously it constructs them uh, straight away and it is instant. But if you've got time to actually wait, then yeah, you can use your glue gel for them. Craig, that comes to the end of your round on adhesives and I'm pleased to say that you scored with no passes, 15 points. Thank you. Uh, he's good, isn't he? General knowledge next. Uh, right, back to glue school. I can't believe where the time is going here. It's flying by. So educational, so useful, this show as well, to uh, let you know where you are with your adhesives. One thing that we haven't tackled yet, as far as the adhesives are concerned, are your tape pens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure George is doing that on purpose today. He's leaving me hanging. He did it on purpose. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh. So we are going to go over our tape pens here. So we've got our two tape pens, the original one, yep. which is our straight edge tape pens. Now these were the very, very first products that Leanne had uh, uh, come up with in product development when she started at Crafters Companion, was wow. our tape pens, our straight edge ones. And then what we've also got is we've got the dotty ones as well both of which which we will uh, go over. Um, both of which in length, as we were on about earlier on, are 12 metres. Other tape pens out there on the market are round about between eight and 10 uh, metres, whereas with our ones you're getting 12, so you know that you're getting a good quality. These are a uh, wet glue, but in a dry glue form. So it's just like you're getting that, co that not that consistency, but that effect of our actual uh, tape runners. It's as light as wet, but you're actually getting it in the dry form. Hopefully that made sense. I know what I was trying to say just there. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, now this is when I seen Leanne do it, and it just absolutely blew my mind. Copier paper, inexpensive copier paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tape runner. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do strips. Did I say 12 or? Just a quick interruption there. Uh, it's 20, to, I, I thought it was 12. Uh, it's 22 meters or 72 feet per, um, per tape runner. So uh, yeah, 22 meters, 72 feet. Even better. E even better. better. Even better. Yeah, sorry. No, that, no that's okay, no, because I questioned myself as well, because I used that, I'm really good at knowing my tape pens, and then I thought, 12 meat? No, 12. No, I'm sure you get a lot more than any other kind of tape pen yeah. in the market, and that's 22 why. Meters 22 meters or 72 feet. So, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Awesome. So that is more than double what any other, you know, less quality tape pen wow. out there does. Wow, amazing. Perfect. So what I've just done is strips of our tape runner in between these copier paper and then what I'm just going to do is just with my hand I'm just going to just kind of like warming it giving it a little rub so again this is a, a wet tape uh, a dry tape runner you know but it's kind of like the uh, the effects of what your uh, wet glue will give you so Leanne she actually tried 25 tape runners tape adhesives before she settled on this one this one is actually manufactured, it's an adhesive from Japan. Yeah. So as we all know, you know, the best of the best uh, is manufactured in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to just keep going around, just warming it just slightly, just so that you get that adhesive just to actually uh, form and take place. And then what I'm going to do is, if I then start to then take this one apart, yeah. and then look. Oh, oh wow. I totally annihilate it. I mean, it. you have. That paper, that yeah. is inexpensive, you know, copier paper. Yeah. And I have just totally, absolutely annihilated it. It just completely 
tears away, it's held its own, it's yeah. tearing the fibres, it's tearing the cardstock, you know, it can't even get into all wow. these little bits. That's how strong it comes. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't need to do your mats and layers, and you don't need to stand every single time and do that. That is just to give you the instance of, you know, that would happen if you were, if I didn't put my hand over the top, if I left that five or ten minutes, yeah. that's the effect. I'm just kind of speeding up that effect, but that's what would happen. That's what happens with our tape runners. Now, we always say as well, you know, when it comes to construction, you're going to be using your tacky glue, but because our tape runner is kind of like a wet form glue, but in a tape runner effect, you can use this for your construction, for making your boxes. So I'm just going to use my tape runner, and what I'm going to do actually, before I go on to that bit, I'm going to show you. So when you're using your tape runner, what you want to do is you've got this kind of little uh, part just at the top here, it's a little ridge. So that just lets you know that's just where your finger just goes on to, just holds nicely on. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull, and then when I'm finished, I'm just going to flick. Mm -hmm. So I'm flicking it, and then what that does is that tears the end of the adhesive. What will happen sometimes, now I'm not going to do this, but if I didn't flick, if I just went to pull my tape runner straight off, what can happen sometimes is you're left with a great big string yeah. length of adhesive, and that's where you're going to waste it. That's where you're going to pull all of that adhesive from inside, and it is wasted. So you're just going to roll down, and when you get as far as you want to go, what we're just going to do is I'm just going to flick like so. Roll and flick. Yeah, I wonder if we can come close up for that one, George, just to show you. Just, uh, there we go, that's perfect. Look at that, so I'm just going to roll down, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick. And then that just breaks the end of the adhesive. You potentially just asked uh, so Jody's question here, which I've just seen, say, my blue pens hang up and stop working after a little use. Am I doing something wrong? So that might be that you're not doing the, the, the flick, right? That's exactly it. The chances are that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. So each time, whether it's a long piece, whether it's a shorter piece, I'm just pulling, and then at the end, I'm just flicking. Mm. I'm just flicking to the side. That breaks that adhesive spiel there. And then what happens is we're just able then to go straight on to uh, construction our box. So I'm just pressing that just each time. The only reason I like to give that just a little bit of a massage in is just to make sure that it's fully adhered. But this will still construct the box or whatever project you're making as if you had used a wet glue. So you can be using one or the other. If you use it any, absolutely either use your uh, tacky glue or your tape runner. So we've got that one here. So then that then creates the box, you'd come along and then you would just do exactly the same, but for the lid. So that's created that one. But then we've also got our dotty tape runner, which is relatively new within our adhesive family. So for this one here, what this does is this is perfect for any of your intricate die cuts or any of your intricate uh, crafting needs. So what's going to happen here is if I bring in my dotty tape runner, it's tiny, tiny, tiny little dots. So if I pop that one to the side again, I'm going to bring this one back in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do straight line. And just like before, I'm just going to just flick at the edge. Uh -huh. What I'm also going to do, Ben, is I'm going to do the straight edge as well. And I'm just going to flick. And then what I've also got is I've got some glitter here. So just to show you, what you can do is use them as strips so that you can pop your uh, glitters on. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to just bring this one in. So even with the dotty one, what happens is you're left with a, a very slight dotty defect. So I'm just going to just lightly rub that one in. Oh, okay. I'm going to do exactly the same on that side just here. Then what we can do so if I then just take this excess, I'm just going to pop this back into my pot. So I've got some in, not all of it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, good know. job, Craig. Great. Good job. Great demo. Good job. <laughs> and then what I'm just going to do is I've got just a, a, a brush. I'm just going to just uh, take that. I know I'm going to have to write lines after. Yeah, detention the, for you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you such a mess in class? And then when it comes to this dotty one, I'm just going to run my tape, uh, my brush over the top just to see any of that fine excess. And then now, you know, that could be our Centura Peril, yeah. that, could be our, uh, that could be our mirror card, that could be any of these ones. So then you've now got your uh, glitter strips. So if you don't have any glitter card, but you want to have some glitter mats and layers, you can absolutely do them when it comes to your tape runner. Yeah. So that's the other benefit with having your tape runner. 
So what I'm going to do is, let's then, I'm just going to, I'm not going to waste this, but I'm going to pop that back in just shortly. So let's just pop that one to the side now. What I'm going to do is we're going to bring back in our intricate die cut and we're going to go back with our dotty tape runner. So what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to bring in just another bit of scrap paper, a bit of copier paper. So what happens now, when you go across in the same form as you would with your straight edge tape runner, what happens is all the dots now, they are only going to stick onto the back of the die. Clever. Any of the additional dots are going to go straight through onto your uh, bit of scrap on the back and then that just means you're not going to get any stringy bits, you're not going to get adhesive where you don't want it, you're going to get adhesive exactly on all of these intricate die cut bits. You can still put them onto your uh, full back areas, Yeah. but then if I then just bring this one up, then I don't know if we can even, so if I go up against my purple, I might actually, let's do it, but I've got a bit of black as well. And we're going to see if you, you, actually, yeah, absolutely spot on. Can you see there is no um, kind of like that glisten yeah, yeah, from yeah. any adhesive that is popping through, shining through. All that dotty tape runner has gone exactly where I wanted it to go on the back of that die cut adhesive. And then all the bits that I don't want has then just gone back onto this little bit of scrap that we've got here. You were to try and do the same with your tape runner, you're completely going to just waste this one with a straight edge because it's going to then just stick to, uh, yes, the areas that you want, but then it's going to constantly keep pulling yeah. and tugging at your actual tape runner. So what you're just wanting to do is use your dotty one for any of your intricate die cut pieces. Super handy, isn't it? A real game changer, I think, when it comes to kind of doing your intricate uh, gluing and you, know, you need an adhesive for it. Those dotty tape heads are brilliant. And the fact that you're getting 22 meters or 72 feet per pen, you have got plenty there to keep you going as well. 798 or 1112 is the deal here. Tessie, thank, thank you for this masterclass. Gluing techniques are critical, especially when working on home decor and multimedia projects. Uh, Eleanor saying, I really like all the tips with the glue so far, especially with the 3D glue. Uh, and Jeffrey saying about the earlier tip about coloring foam pads. I like the tip about uh, coloring foam pads. Yolanda, I love that I always learn something new every time I watch Crafters Companion. Um, and Karen saying, these are so useful. I took pages of notes and laminated them uh, when they ended the last one. Uh, more on paper type stamps and all for beginners like me. That's the point here. Lots of information, lots of education as well. Um, save this show, honestly, save this show, uh, whether it be on your, your set top box or on the, you know, on the computer on YouTube, save it because you will come back to it, I'm sure, uh, time and time again. Those uh, dotty glue pens, as I say, uh, the two pack you're going to get for $7.98 or $11.12 is a 20% saving. And don't forget, triple points on those as well now something else which is super handy which i'm a big fan of because I, I i've I, I, you know been to um, a few sort of crafting conventions over my time and i speak to people like yourself and people are always sort of saying oh i used to like stamping but i find stamping now quite difficult find it quite fiddly you know find it disappointing when i've stamped an image and it hasn't come out correctly and i can never kind of marry the stamp back up again with the image that's where you need uh, this particular collection because it is absolutely brilliant to allow you to get perfect stamping each and every time. It is the three-piece collection which is going to bring you your professional stamping mat and two stamping platforms. You've got your four by four and your six by six. Just brilliant because of course you can um, pop your stamps onto the platforms and then away you go. So again, no matter what size uh, stamp that you've got, you've got um, six by six and four by four. So even if you've got some fairly large stamps, it's gonna ensure that each and every time you do stamp, even if it doesn't come out perfectly first time, you've got the ability to go back in without faff and hassle. If you are someone who's got dexterity issues, if you're someone who batch makes, if you like to stamp multiple times, this is an absolute um, time saver for you and super, super handy to have in your craft room. 20 pounds or $27, saving almost 11 pounds today or um, just under $16, triple points once again. Great little, um, uh, I said, they said Advent gift then, not Advent, Christmas. Great little Christmas gift um, for you as well. Now, uh, things are going very quickly. Uh, we did mention at the start of the show, uh, this shaker foam was proving really popular. Well, I tell you what, don't scream and shout, but it's now sold out. Yep, it has gone. Well done uh, if you've got your hands on that but that has disappeared. Let's, whilst I'm sorting this out, show you some pictures of the cardstock that we've got on the show. 
uh, the uh, the Nina card stock proving really really popular uh, this as always is a uh, three bundle deal so you get three lots of 16 sheets 48 sheets in total uh, again look at the price on that nine pounds or thirteen dollars uh, if you want to go for that again platinum members get another 20 percent off that and triple points as well the watercolor card stock had a few um sort of watercolor shows recently so if you're kind of getting into that and you want to make sure that you've got the correct card stock for it this is the collection that you need to go for again 45 sheets in total uh, in this collection nine pounds or 13 dollars once again for your watercolor card uh, the heavyweight acetate we've got on the show as well a5 size, 75 sheets. Again, um, seeing discounts on that down to £19 or $23 um, if you want to add that into your basket. And I'll tell you what, this essential card collection kit is just brilliant because you've got uh, everything that you need here pretty much. 60 sheets of your A4 white stamping card, that's 300 GSM. Then you're going to get 40 sheets of your matte black, 300 GSM. And then the craft card stock, which is super, super handy again. Uh, 50 sheets of that, 280 GSM, so 150 sheets in total uh, for under, well, 23.50 or 35.50. Had lots of questions about the Centura Pearl, uh, which we have on the show for you. Again, a 40 sheet collection here, just gorgeous. Um, you're going to get 10 sheets of your platinum, uh, 10 sheets of your cherry, you've got your pumpkin in there, and your Christmas green as well. 310 GSM on your Centura Pearl, and look at that price again. 40 sheets of Centura Pearl for nine pounds is a big deal. $13 as well, um, if you wanna grab that. The uh, inkjet, printable inkjet acetate, again, proving very popular. Uh, it comes in a pack of eight sheets. You're gonna get three packs, giving you your 24. Um, so you've got the ability to use this in conjunction with your home printer uh, to print straight on to the acetate. Uh, nice handy bit of um, crafty stock to have there for nine pounds again, or 13 dollars next up oh you know me i love this the glitter car stock that we have here at crafters companion is just brilliant you've got that encapsulated glitter in the beautiful um ivory you've got your christmas green and this wonderful um sort of copper as well is absolutely stunning again 30 sheets for nine pounds is a super deal uh 13 dollars um, if you're shopping with us in the states and the texture card stock, this is phenomenal. You're gonna get 108 sheets of this gorgeous card stock. So you've got 36 sheets in each of those uh, books there. If you like eight by eight size, 35 pounds or $47 on that. Again, a 20% saving. And all of this is with a triple points. Don't forget as well, by the way, I only mentioned it at the top of the show, but if you are spending over 40 pounds or $40, you will receive your free uh, Christmas uh, stocking as well for your Christmas tree. Um, thank you to everybody who's already got their hands on these. If you want to buy more of them as well, we'd love you to do that uh, because um, all the proceeds from that will go to the Bradley Lowry Foundation. They're still on five ninety nine or eight ninety nine, uh, a two for ten or two for fifteen deal um, on that. But as I say, if you spend over forty pounds or forty dollars today, you will get one of those added into your order for free. Right. Um, keep those questions coming in. We will do another round of questions before we finish the show. Uh, just over half an hour to go. Wow, so busy. Glad you're enjoying it. Lovely comments coming in. Uh, those questions will pop to Craig. But uh, before we do that, we're going to have a look at the large guillotine. We are indeed. And another reason as to why I've been in my absolute element today, I get to just focus on all these adhesives. But of course, one of the questions, if there's any question, one question I get asked the most is how do you do your mats and layers, Craig? They're Craig, always Yes. How do you do your mats and layers? Well, Ben, I'm glad that you've asked me that. I use mine, and I do mine, using the guillotine. Oh. So it's the guillotine that I do my mats and layers because we've got the grids within them. So if you've never seen our guillotine before, so we've got a large one just here. So what we've got is, you've got the guillotine, you've got all of these little grids in here, so they enable you to do the scoring as well. Yours does come with a scoring tool. 
that's already built in as well and it just sits nicely into the top here. What happens as well is you have got your extendable arm. Oh, cool. So it goes right up to 13 inches here. So it's easy enough to just fit any of your 12 by 12, you know, your scrapbook pages, anything like that. So that just sits nicely along the top. So we're just going to pop that one in. We've even got our finger guard that you can see here. So it's nice and safe. But then what we've got here within the arm, we've got the arm of our guillotine. Now, hear that sound. Yes. That's self-sharpening. So no longer are the days where you have to get tin foil or anything like that and start to cut so it's going to help sharpen. It sharpens for you as well. However, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to turn it around so you can see in that view already. And I'm going to hold it there so that we are being very, very careful. But we can see along here, so we have got our, uh, our arm for our guillotine. But when Leanne got this manufactured, when Leanne went to get this all done, she didn't go to a paper trimmer manufacturer. She went to a sword manufacturer for the blade of, of our uh, guillotine. Amazing. You know, you know, Leanne, she'll go, right, what's the best of the best? And then go that one step further. So when you come to the blade of your guillotine, it's come from a sword manufacturer. So yes, it's sharp, but it's going to do that perfect result every single time. So what we're going to do is let's just show you the mats and layers, how I do my mats and layers. Nine times out of ten, I do them at quarter of an inch increments, which is great because we are in quarter of an inch increments. So let's start, let's go for, let's say, eight by eight to start with. So we're just going to pull the arm out. There's a little lever along the bottom here. So we've got that little foot. So it nicely just sits. It's all even. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my cardstock right up to eight inches. Yep. So inches along the bottom, we've got centimetres that run along the top as well. They're all secured with like a plastic coating along the top. So they're not going to chip off. They're not going to come off or score off. They are nicely secured. So we've gone right up to eight inches right there. So we're just placing this right against the top. So you've got that edge right there. I'm just going to hold down to that finger guard and we're going to cut. No better sound in my opinion. So we're going to turn that funny. around eight inches again, holding that there and then listen. It's satisfying, oh, I'll give you so that. So good, mm. so, so good. But then what I'm also just going to do is I'm going to now Look, look at that. Whoa! Look at that. Waffer thin. Waffer thin. So you can take the tiniest, littlest, little slither <laughs> off every single time. But then, of course, if you want to do things like your quilling, if you like doing quilling, mm. you can then do your quilling strips. What I'm also wanting to do is if I bring in this white in just again, so we've got our two ends, and then if I just match them up, these are absolutely yeah. bang on the money right there. So you know from the very top cut at the top of your guillotine all the way down to the bottom, you are going to get that precision cut. It's, you know, it's all uh, built in within the guillotine. It is from that sword manufacturer. So then that's how you know you're going to get that perfect cut. So that's how you can do their one. So between quilling strips, tiny little slithers, then you can be doing them once. So what we're going to do is, uh, so this is now, I've taken this now down to seven and three quarters. So let's trim that edge as well. So let's bring in a bit of white just so we can uh, layer up. So seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So my next layer, I'm going to come down a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go seven and a half by seven and a half. Uh -huh. So I'm just lining right up to the seven and a half mark and we're cutting. And then I'm going to turn that around and then we're going to do seven and a half by seven and a half again. Just making sure we're square up against the top and cut. So when I then bring this layer in, we know, or I know, and I will do this time and time again, so I'm so comfortable and confident that yes. it works every single time, we have got our perfect quarter of an inch mat and layer all the way round. So quarter of an inch is the, is the, uh, the measurement every time, pretty much, to get that's, the best that's what I, layer. That's what I do yeah. all the time. I'll do quarter of an inch, unless there's a specific reason I want a bigger uh, area all the way around. You will tend to see 99.9% .9 of the time when I do my mats and layers, they're quarter of an inch. But then let's just say, let's say you did want to do half an inch instead. So let's keep that just at the seven and three quarters. 
So what I'm then just going to do is let's come down half an inch. So we're going to then come down to seven and a quarter. So seven and a quarter, cut, turn it around, and then let's do seven and a quarter once again. Pop that one up to the edge and then cut. So I know this time I'm going to have that perfect half an inch mat and layer yeah. all the way round that you can see just like so. But then let's just, we'll bring in another bit of uh, black card. So let's come down a wee bit more. Let's do five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So then that can sit nicely into the middle. Uh -huh. And then let's take this one back in. So let's do five and, let's do five inches by five inches. Now, I'm just having to do them square, but of course, if you're doing your five by seven cards, exactly the same idea, exactly the same concept. So if I bring this one back in and then we'll layer that one up, yeah. that's then once again spot on that we've got our perfect mat and layer all the way around. So whether it's framing, whether you've done a nice little bit of artwork that you want to mm. do, but then this is 300 GSM cardstock that we've got. So what I'm just going to do is let's just fold that just in, in half. And then what I'm just going to do is, again, I'm just going to press this up to the top. So is this double 300, is it? Double 300. Right. Whoa. So you can see yes. you've got that nice, crisp, clean cut sound. And you can see it. And actually, at this point, I'm not actually doing too much pressure. I'm just going all the way down. And then what I'm going to do is let's just even just bring in a third layer. So I'm just going to just nestle, nestle that third layer three, three, three. up three at the top. Three times, so we're going three, three, three. Let's just position that so that we are wow. good to go. So let's just pop that up. So even there, just at the end, just that little bit extra pressure. Oh, no feathering. There's no tearing. There's no ripping. There's no nothing. So that was, what was that? Three, six, 900, 900 GSM cardstock. So you can think of, if you're doing lesser weight cardstock, paper, if you've got your 12 by 12 papers, you're doing your envelope boxes, any of your wraps or that, the multitude of layers that you can cut in a one. I will always say, you know, I would tend to do one layer at a time, but if you have to do multiple layers, then you can do when it comes to the guillotine. 900 GSM, and we cut that with no problem at all, no feathering, no buckling, no tearing, no nothing. But that is how I do my mats and layers when it comes to the wow. guillotine. But again, if you don't have your scoreboard, you've got the score marks in there. All of these are quarter of an inch. These are all embedded in. And as I say, you will get your score tool. See if mine's is floating about somewhere. And then you can then use it as your scoring board as well, or even just use it as your measurements. Sounds like a, a sword, doesn't it? You can tell, though Leanne went to a sword manufacturer, the noise that it makes, that quality. You can, you can hear the quality of it, can't you? $39.99, uh, only available here in the UK though, uh, but you can see again how super handy, the fact that you're getting that perfect cut every time, and the fact again that it's just gonna make life so much easier for you to get that precision cut each and every time. Um, so many questions coming again, we will pop those to Craig before the end of the show. Marilyn just saying, I have the CC large guillotine and I love it, and I mean love it, I returned my substandard one back to that big company that lots of people order off, you know that one. Uh, so it went back because ours was so great. Uh, Stephanie saying, love when Leanne did glue school. Awesome for this refresher course. Craig is such a fab teacher. And Diane K. Lewis on Facebook saying, taking notes, this is so helpful. I just want to uh, point you to a, a couple of other tools that we've got on the show. Uh, your craft knives, again, super handy to have these uh, for all of your, um, your crafting. So we've got two options for you. We've got your uh, straight knife here, uh, super sharp blades, of course, nice ergonomic handle, soft grip with this as well. And the great thing about these is you're going to get five replacement blades with the actual knife itself. Super easy to replace those two. And then we're also throwing into this bundle uh, five more replacement blades as well. You're not going to be going through the, those in kind of um, any sort of quick time. So the fact that you've got uh, 10 blades uh, there, well, 11 actually, haven't you really? Because you've got one on the knife already, uh, is brilliant. $4.99 or $6.95 on that. Um, so you're basically getting the knife and then you're getting those extra replacement blades for free and $4.99 or $6.95 is amazing. And then we've got the swivel version of that as well. So if you're kind of 
and you're cutting round uh, more edges and curves, uh, the swivel knife will come into its own there, it really will. And once again with this, uh, nice and easy to change the blades when you need it, uh, soft ergonomic grip so it's nice and easy to hold, easy to use, uh, and as well as getting the replacement blades with the actual knife itself, we're then also going to give you another five replacement blades as well. $4.99 or $6.95, again, 25% saving, triple points on everything as well, uh, worth jumping in for. Also, uh, something worth jumping in for, and you've seen this used time and time again, um, is the, uh, the die brush tool. This is brilliant. Uh, super time saving, super quick and easy to use, and it's back in stock, please to say. I think this is brilliant. You know what, when you're cutting out those dies and uh, you get those more intricate ones and there's loads of bits and pieces, those little tools are fine, aren't they? They're absolutely fine. But this, for those more intricate dies, is just gonna do the job so much quicker for you. You're gonna get the die brush uh, tool, you're gonna get the foam pad as well, and the brilliant thing with this is you get the replacement heads as well. I've not seen it with those before, so that's super, super handy again. Um, just giving you more longevity out of your tool. Um, again, look at the deal on this, 750 or 1350. Super uh, gift idea. Again, if you are looking for stocking fillers for that crafter in your life, uh, then that is absolutely brilliant. So you get the, um, the brush with the pads and then you get the replacement heads as well. 750 or 1350. And talking of super useful, the um, ball tools are just brilliant. You know, obviously great if you are doing your uh, your flower forming, we've seen uh, particularly how great these are to give you uh, that depth and detail. And the fact is that these are double-ended and you've got kind of balls right across the spectrum here, haven't you? Uh, to your sort of large one, right down to your tiny ball. So if you need needing to get uh, you know that, that level of um, embellishment as it were, you've got it. And then you've also got with this collection, uh, your little finger toboggan as well, or the distress tool, as it's um, actually called in the trade, not the finger toboggan, um, but I do prefer that. Uh, $14.99 or $19.95 if you wanna go for that collection. Again, great gift idea. Again, triple points. And again, a big saving, that's a 30% saving. Um, if you want to go for that collection, $14.99 or $19.95 for those. Um, we will, we've got 20 minutes left, so another 10 minutes or so, then we, if, you've, if you've asked a question in the last sort of 15 minutes, we'll put those to Craig. Just to mention as well, Cartload, if you thought this show was great, we've got Cartload coming up for you at uh, four o'clock UK time, 11 o'clock East Coast, eight o'clock West Coast. If you want to jump ahead and get in before everybody else, have a look on the uh, website, um, craftsofcompanion.com.eu. Uh, the thing is, we've got a little surprise box on there, right? It, it, it's kind of like uh, a little, if you want to get yourself a Christmas present, right? Uh, and you want to kind of gift yourself a Christmas present, this is brilliant because it's a, it, it's a sort of a surprise box. It's all beautifully wrapped up. You won't know what's in it. Pop it under your tree, open it Christmas day. Marvellous. Oh, hello Craig. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's coming up, uh, that's coming up uh, at four o'clock. Now, uh, Craig is ready, as you can just see, he's just having a little, little drink there. He's been talking a lot, hasn't he? He's been talking, he needs a little drink, of course he does. Um, right, what are we having to look at? <laughs> what are we having to look at next, Craig? Hey, Jill. <laughs> What we're, what we're going to do is uh, we're, go, we're, going to show, we're going to finish off and show you a bit of uh, how to use the ball tools. Oh, yes. If maybe you've never seen them before. So that is um, absolutely, yep. that's going to be the next one we're going to use, is uh, use the ball tool. So straight away, what, what to do first is just ball to tools. show you. Is then, you know, you don't always have to use them for your flower forming. You can be using them to shape your uh, cardstock flowers. So just even using that sponge mat. So. When it comes to the ball tools, as Ben was out saying earlier on, so you get the three of them, but you've got your six ends. So you've gone from your really small one right up to your largest one. So then you can even then, I've just taken what was from the clover, which is part of the flower forming flowers, but you can see I've just cut it in some cardstock and you can still shape it, no problem at all. So all that would do is let's actually even go for a smaller one. Whoop, throwing that at myself there. <laughs> just about. <laughs> So you Probably can not. then even still just shape them, still using that format that you get within the actual ball tool bundle. So I'm just going to work my way around so you can really start to add a little bit of pressure and shape to them. So if you like to add shape to your flowers, then of course 
you can do so even that's just some card and that's some paper so you can still be adding shape to them no problem yeah but then of course you know they do work even better when it comes to your flower forming so i've got some already die cut from our uh, foam and i've got our uh, finger toboggan as you like to call it yes craig i've got you know mat, it and we've got our ball tool so i've just got my little uh, craft heat tool here heat iron so what I'm just going to do is let's just bring that one that way, that one that way, and then I'm just going to lift these one up. So mine's is just a, a craft iron. If you've got a small craft iron, you can use that. If you've got a portable iron, you can use it, or a travel iron, you can use that, or a household iron. I have it between medium and high. Mm -hmm. uh, the hotter it is, the quicker that the foam starts to take shape, and then uh, what you can then start to do is form it. So what I'm just going to do is just using my tweezers, is I'm just going to then just pop that one on to my mat you can see how straight oh, wow, away yeah. that it starts to shape so let's just take the next ball tool down so then what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to just roll it and shape it now you can leave them as it is like this and then you start to get petal shapes or what you can do is i'm now going to go back to the larger one and i'm just wrapping my petal around the end of the ball tool yeah and then what i'm just going to do is just with my two thumbs i'm just very lightly but over and over again, I'm just pulling, I'm just stretching the foam. Yeah. And then even just that excess warmth or heat from my thumbs is helping shape the foam. It's a good thing as well, isn't it? It's not a precise science, is no. it, your, your, your flower form? Because if you think about flowers in, in nature, they're not kind of like a, a, a set shape, a set size. So again, it's one of those things that you can kind of just do to your own specification and taste really, isn't it? It is. And the same goes for if you were to tear it or rip it, yeah. take a petal off, leave it, use it. You know, you look at nature, you, you know, you'll be so hard to find an absolute perfect petal. You know, yeah. they've even got a little rip in it or a bit of discoloring to it. It's nature, that's the way it's going to be. And it can look really quite nice mm. and organic when you start to include them. So what I'm then just going to do is just going to then bring that one and you can see then straight away how you can even just start to form the actual petal of the flower that you can see just there. Uh -huh. So then let's just do that one again. But what we'll do is we'll bring in our actual um, distressing tool uh -huh. and then our distressing mat. Now with this one here, you've got loads and loads and loads of, can you hear it? Oh, I don't like that noise. Do you not like that noise? Yeah, I don't like no? that. No, <laughs> you don't, do you? I don't like that noise. That's horrible. It's like finger on a dartboard. A dartboard? Oh, blackboard you know dartboard. A dartboard? <laughs> don't put your finger on no, a dartboard. No, don't put your fingers on the dartboards. Do you know what it is? I don't, it's, like, it's that, it's the, the, um, the noise of um, like, um, or, um, what's it like, Not like silk. You know when you put your, you put your fingers on? The thing that gets me, right, I, 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 you'll laugh, uh, wooden chip forks and wooden lolly sticks. If I see anyone eating, oh my, no. I, I can understand that one. I can my understand kids tease me one. during the summertime. They run at me with their lollies. I'm like, get away from me! Yeah, they, they love it. They love teasing their old dad. Anyway. So on this one, you've got your grids that are going in one direction. Craig knows what he's doing this summer now. <laughs> on your finger distressing tool, you've got the same, but they actually go in the opposite direction. So when you are uh, starting to rub that together, I'm mm. not going to do it because I know Ben doesn't like that sound, but then as you start to rub that together, they're rubbing the opposite direction, and that's what's then going to create that distress. So what I'm going to do is, well, let's do that again with our uh, next flower. We're just going to pop this onto our craft iron. Uh -huh. And then what I'm just going to do is, I'm just going to pick this one up so you can just start to roll that. And then what I'm even just going to do now is I'm just going to fold them in on themselves. So we're going to fold that one in and then we can even fold that one in. And then all I'm going to do is just kind of like scrunch this one up. So again, nothing precise. I'm not being even or anything like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just holding it, pinching it right at the base. Mm -hmm. And then with my distress tool, what I'm just starting to do is roll back and forwards. So it's kind of like the friction from the grids going in one direction on the mat, the grids going in the other direction within your uh, finger distressing tool. It distresses it. It pulls the actual foam. And then this is what makes it even more delicate. It then enables you to then come along. And it's the only way I can explain this. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to pop this one here 
and this one. I'm going to pop this just to the edge of the table. And then what I'll do is I will get Ben yeah. to come along and take the two of them. And then maybe you can explain the, the, the feel, the difference. Because I've distressed it, because you've stretched it out, it becomes very, very thin, really, really paper-like. So then you can see it's just a bit of water right across. <laughs> you're ready to go. There you go. So it's easy for me to, you know, to explain to you, but then obviously just getting bent to actually see what it's like when it feels like before you've done any heat and any distressing to how really thin and, and velvety and silky well, it. That feels like a, the one that you've distressed feels like a real petal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, if, if you if you were to yeah, make me close my eyes and put that in my hand, I would say, well, that just that feels. Whereas that, it's, it's still got more of a. It's thicker. It's got more of like a. It's almost like you thinned it a little bit. That's exactly, that's exactly uh, what it's like. But that, that one that you've distressed feels like an actual, an actual real petal. Yeah, yeah, because what Leanne wanted to do when uh, she was coming up with this range is, initially she was holding them, taking them all together, and then what she was doing with her fingers is she, she was going round and round and yeah. round. Now, if you imagine, if you're wanting to create a really big, big floral bunch, if you're wanting to make a floral wreath, floral vase, can you imagine how long that would take? And it would be starting to hurt your fingers. Yeah. So this is how uh, Leanne had come up with a, a thought of, well, well, there's bound to be a tool, a distress tool, <laughs> that, I could, uh, that I could make. And that's exactly what she'd done. And it's exactly as you're saying, you're pulling the, the actual uh, foam, yeah. you're pulling it, you're distressing it, makes it so much thinner, so much lighter. And then you can still come along, Ben, using your ball tool, I'm going to go for the next one down, and we can still really start to stretch that over. So it almost becomes kind of like see-through. You can start to see through the actual petal through into the metal ball tool on the other end. Um, Tansy Pans on YouTube saying, this really is a distressing tool, lol. Poor old Ben. I know, I know, it is distressing. This is just the noise I didn't like. It's, it's, a, it's a good tool to have, but just don't do the scrapey thing. It, but, but what you're saying is so true. Um, it's the first time actually I've ever, um, I've, I've seen a lot of these shows with the, um, with, with the uh, flower form. It's the first time that I've had the opportunity to get my hands on one, and it is um, just amazing. And like you said, if you had to do all of these by hand, they're you know, using your finger, you would be there for just, for just hours, wouldn't you? You would be, you absolutely would be. And now I just want to show you, so this one here, I heated up yeah. and then I just shaped it with my ball tool. And then this one, I heated it up and then I distressed it and then I've started to shape it with the ball tool. So this is where you can start to see even more how, how delicate it really, really is. How thinner, how more just incredible in real to life yeah. that it can start to look. And I know the screen will never ever do it justice, but I know there's so many out there that love the form of flower forming that you know absolutely agree 100% that the look and the feel that the distress tool gives you. Um, just brilliant. Again, if you want to go for that, you get the six, uh, well, the three tools with the six, um, the six different heads, as it were, and you get um, the finger toboggan as well. 14 99 and 19 95 triple points. And don't forget, if you're spending over £40 or $40, you will get that free Christmas decoration as well. Um, we will fire those questions to Craig in just a second too, because we've got the next round of questions to come. Um, so we'll get those done in just a second. Just want to quickly remind you of all the different glues that we've got on the show as well. The all-purpose, very, very popular. Um, if you missed the demos on this right at the start of the show, you can go back and uh, see Craig working with the all-purpose glue. You're getting a a, a two pack there, 478 for both, or 1272. Uh, that is a 20% saving and triple points on that as well. If you've kind of been watching the show and you like the idea of getting a little bit of um, everything, let's just say, then maybe uh, the essential starter kit is the way to go because it is a uh, like an eight piece collection which gives you uh, your all purpose glue. You've then got your um, 3D uh, chunky glue. Junky glue, uh, your glue gel. So that comes with the syringe, comes with a little twister as well to make it nice and easy for you to dispense the glue. You've got your uh, red liner tape as well, super handy. Again, two lots of that. The uh, glue pen, the dotty uh, glue pen, again, just brilliant. And, and as we found out, 22 uh, meters of that included, not 12. You're going to get three lots of your low cap tape. Again, super handy to have in your craft room. And you're getting a selection of your 3D um, foam pads as well. Should be over 52 uh, pounds or 
36 pounds or 61 dollars is the price on that uh, right let's fire through these final questions that we um, that we've got for Craig where did we get to okay so here we go Deborah on Facebook says how long does it take for the glue gel to dry so it will be about touch dry in about 20 minutes but if you're wanting to give it to a recipient or pop it in the post I would leave it until the next day before you actually uh, put it in the envelope and send it uh, C Turner on YouTube says Craig what is the best way to adhere magnets so your magnets, what you'll probably find is if you actually use a hot glue, because it's the metal, it can come cold, it can actually just peel off. So what I would then tend to use is my uh, either my glue gel or what I would actually do on this occasion, because we showed you earlier on, I'll show you again shortly, is your call out all purpose glue. That will help. You'll just need to let it dry. Uh, Linda on YouTube says, what do I do if I can't get the chunky glue out of the syringe? So your chunky glue, what to do is if you be very careful, take your pokey tool, so if I get mine and my glue gel, if I, here we go, we've got it this side. So all that I would just do is just be very, very careful. And then I would just take the little dry bit out from the very end of the syringe. So all that I'm just going to do is just going to poke it out. And then obviously mine's isn't dry, but I would just then prise it out at the top there. But what to do is when you're finished with it, always make sure that you've got a couple of mil of your glue gel just peeping out the top there and then close it. And then that will give it an airtight area. Okay, final four questions. Panda Crafts on YouTube says, Hi, I'm currently making some 3D exploding baby boxes. Uh, what glue would you advise for all of the layers and construction so it doesn't fall apart? 100% all-purpose glue. So that, that will really give it that extra sturdiness when it comes to the matting layer, especially because it is the exploding box. Uh, a couple of questions on the guillotine here. Shannon on YouTube says, What is the difference between the small and the large one? Size. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could have done that. Uh, Amelia says, when it is, it is literally just that. They're just, one's more portable than the other. I can't remember the exact dimensions, but we'll, we'll try and find out for you. Uh, Amelia on YouTube says, when lining, this is the guillotine, when lining up on the grid, is it right of the score line on the score line or left of the score line to get the perfect measurement? Right, yo. So I do to the left. The right, I have to think, my left and my right. So I do it to the right of the score. I know exactly what you mean, because I was like that right at the very start as well, because the score line is like a mill or two yeah. uh, in thickness. So I always just do it to the right of uh, your score line, and you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, and one final question from Vanessa Fuentes on YouTube, who says, can any phone be used with this technique, what you were just doing, or does it have to be a special phone? So if you want to obviously create that shape, if you want it to be uh, like I've just done there, it needs to be heat foam. You know, you have to do heat foam, but you can still die cut uh, any foam that's not heat activated foam, but you can still add a bit of shape. So yeah, you can do. And the time is up, Craig. I'm pleased to say that once again, you scored full marks. Uh, we have got five minutes remaining on the show, so let's just quickly um, have a look back at the all-purpose glue, which we looked at at the start of the show. Um, it, you get one of these, actually, within the eight-piece starter collection. So uh, for anyone who missed, uh, Craig, tell us about this glue. Why it's so great? Right, yo. So our uh, all-purpose of our glue here. So this one is solvent-based. So this is going to give you no warping. That's going to give you no stringy bits, nothing like that one. So this is where it's going to be perfect for your mats and layers. Of course, you can be ad adhering all your additional embellishments as well. Perfectly good matting and layering when it comes to sticking your paper onto your cardstock. It does set rock solid. So let's just do a quick bit of matting and layering because one of the benefits as well within this one here is if you do get any extra bit of uh, glue gel, well glue gel, all purpose, just peeping out the side, you can then just using your finger, just roll it into a little ball just to take any of that excess away. So I'm just going to go around the edges and I'm just going to take just a little bit extra to this side here just so that we can get a little bit squidging out. So I'm just going to place that one on, get it to where I want to be. If it's not in the right place, it is repositionable. Mm -hmm. So we can pop that one on and let's see if I can get any glue gel just squidging out. Let's pull it down slightly just so we can get a little bit just coming out of the edges just here. So any little excess of your glue, I'm just going to roll back and forwards 
even on white card, it's not going to discolour it, it's not going to distress it, nothing at all. All of these little glue dots we can then just wipe away. So we've got our perfect matting layer, and of course yours will be straight at that point. But then this is where it becomes rock solid. So we showed you earlier on the ways in which you can use the tacky glue, yeah. but the tacky glue will, if you do it with mats and layers, it makes your cards a bit more flexible. This is where the chances are it's going to then just kind of do that bit of a, a Bambi legs on your mantelpiece. <laughs> You know, so this is where if you do your mats and layers using your uh, all purpose, then this is where it's going to be a really, really rock solid, extra tough. This is given the effect of so many mats and layers without actually having the mats and layers. So, so sturdy that you can see on here. And then just to show you as well, this is the mat and layer that we done earlier yeah. with the all purpose. This is the mat and layer we done with the tacky glue. Now that was just sitting at the side of me and that's happened on its own. So tacky, tacky glue absolutely has its own purpose, but not always best for matte and layer. Mats and layers are always going to be best when it comes to your all purpose if you're using a wet glue. Uh, Pam on Facebook says, been watching this morning while making Christmas cards and using all the glue items you've been talking about. Thank you for your demos, Craig. Uh, and Marilyn on YouTube says, this show has been extremely informative. I'm only a, uh, I've only been a customer for over a month and I was using my glues incorrectly. So it's great that we can point you in the right direction. Let's give you a quick update on some of the most popular items from the show that you'll want to get your hands on. Uh, the foam pads proving very, very popular indeed. Uh, two piece collection you're getting here, 20 sheets of your small, 20 sheets of your large, and the varying sizes within each collection. 2078 or 3292 is the price on that. 20% saving on that, of course, as well. And don't forget, you're halfway then towards getting your Crafter's Companion um, uh, charity stocking as well, because we're giving that away uh, with every order over £40 and triple points as well. If you're wanting to get towards uh, that £40, you might want to pop some of your 3D glue gel into your basket as well. Two tubes of the glue gel, both of those come with a syringe, of course, and a handy little applicator as well. So once you get towards the end of it, you're not having to squeeze it out like you do with your toothpaste, which is very handy. 878 or 50 1592 as we've seen the uh, color all-purpose glue super handy to have and that price today is phenomenal at 478 or 1272 if you want to go for that the daubers loads of you have been talking about these again on and the value for money um, someone mentioned earlier on that in the, the store where they are, just the one door that costs a dollar. So the fact that you're getting 40 plus storage for 21 pounds or 28 dollars is phenomenal. You've also got your essential card collection, 150 sheets, which includes craft, mat, and your white stamping card uh, for 23.50 or 35.50. And of course, the star of the show is the Crafters Companion Essential Starter Eight Piece Collection, uh, which brings you everything you need as far as your adhesives is concerned. What a brilliant show! Uh, Jeffrey on Facebook saying it's a triple Craig day today. Well, it is because I know Craig later on that he's doing um, on his Facebook page. You're doing a little show every day with the advent calendar, aren't you? I am indeed. So if uh, you want to know a wee bit more about that, we'll tell you during Cartload. We certainly will because that's the next show. Oh yes, we're going to be doing uh, Cartload at uh, four o'clock, eleven o'clock uh, East Coast or eight o'clock uh, West Coast. It's coming up in an hour, basically. It's coming up in an hour. A big thank you to uh, Mr. Laird there for uh, the masterclass. Always inspirational, great education there. I've learned a lot. Hopefully you have too. And we will be back with you here on uh, Crafters TV for Cartload in one hour's time. Bye.